named Lucky Egede. I was born in a rural community to illiterate parents who did their best to ensure that I got education. Their best, however, couldn't take me beyond secondary education. After secondary education, I needed to go to university. The, that was tough. There was nobody to sponsor me, but I passed my examinations. And you'd find many relations agreeing, okay, I will contribute something, I will put something, and eventually I got to join my brother, do some trade, go to Delta State, buy Gary, carry it to Lagos, we sell and raise school fees out of it. I did that to my final year in the university. And when I left, uh, with all that challenge, I graduated a prize winner. I was the best in commercial law in my university. And at the law school, we were only 32 in 1987 that made second class offer. There was no first class in 1987. So 1,733 candidates in 1987, I was among the best 32 academically. You, one would have thought that with those uh, challenges, there was no time to read, I was in the market and jumping, trying to make my school fees and make ends meet, that my academic performance would have been affected, but it was not. And when I left school and started working, First, my working career, I would say, started from youth service. I did my youth service in Imo State in a private law firm. And it was quite interesting. As a youth copper, I was working till 11 in the night. And there was no extra allowance. All my friends thought I was stupid. But when we left youth service and needed to attend interview, that experience paid off. Okay, That was how I got my first job in a private law firm where I worked only four months and left to join Nova Sanjo Group. I was in Nova Sanjo Group for 19 years. I rose from legal officer to group executive director and MD of properties division before I retired voluntarily. The, the motivation, like I always tell people, there is always a first motivation. The business school will not tell you that motivation is beyond the vision and mission of an organization. The first motivation to do business is to pay my bills. I, I have mentioned to you what I passed through to get education. My parents were not in a position to foot all their bills and I didn't want that to happen to me. I also looked at the career path, working as an honest worker, I worked so hard, but my salary was not enough to pay my bills, and I needed to do more. I moved out to start business in the understanding that I will earn more when I do business than I will earn as a salary earner. That was the first motivation. Entrepreneurial skill is not an accident. Mothers have a role to play in the upbringing of their children. And my mother did so well. We started doing business, like I mentioned, we grew up from an illiterate society. The grammar of entrepreneurship or no entrepreneurship wasn't in the picture. We didn't understand the English meaning or name of what we were doing. But I is growing up after my education, I now realize that we were actually practicing entrepreneurship from primary school. So right from primary school, I did uh, bicycle repair. I, I learned how to repair bicycle and I made quite some money out of it. Today we call that entrepreneurship, am I right? Okay. I used to sell palm wine. Get palm wine, people would gather in the evening, we sell palm wine to them, the elders, they would drink and they would pay. That also you would call entrepreneurship. I sold egg, the guinea fowl egg. It comes 460 in a crate, wooden crate. I will boil all the 460. People will gather in the evening, buy the eggs. I will account for all the 460 eggs and make my profit. I could sell 460 eggs without eating one. That was accounting. 
So when you want to succeed as an entrepreneur, one thing that is very, very important is that you need to have good record keeping. And I learned that from my primary school. Well, Super Super Supermarket is an indigenous organization. And because we are indigenous, our overhead is so much lower than that of the expatriate businesses. We don't have any general manager that is staying in five-star hotel. Our managers are not living in the GRA. They are the ordinary Nigerians that we have as managers. Our overhead is lower. So we're able to sell at a price below the competitor's price. So we say in Super Silver, we sell for less. And when we say we sell for less, we mean it. And our name also tells you that every purchase you make, in every purchase there is a saving. If you buy at a price lesser than you ought to buy it outside, you have made some savings. That's a selling point.